The McEnroe Challenge for Charity match presented by Massimo was the highlight of the opening weekend at the BNP Paribas Open, featuring an impressive lineup of tennis legends and current stars. Well, I think they're going to see some, uh, see some of us having fun, but they're all going to see a competition. I mean, uh, Pete Sampras is one of the greatest players that ever lived. Andy Roddick has one of the biggest games you've ever seen on a tennis court. I like to compete. I certainly want to play well. Uh, as I get older, it's, it becomes more difficult to play well, and playing Andy is a, a big challenge. I think it's just a lot of fun. I mean, it's a win-win for everyone because it's a beautiful place, obviously. The players are enjoying themselves. It's for charity, most importantly, and it's a great way to kick off the tournament. Eight players were divided into two teams to play four matches with $20,000 on the line in each set, $15,000 going to the winner. All the money is donated to the charity the winning player or team represents. Patient Safety Movement is an organization that's trying to help eliminate preventable deaths in our hospitals. So we're here not just because of the money that hopefully we'll win to add to what we're doing, but to get raise the awareness. First up was women's doubles. Former world number one Arancha Sanchez Vicario impressed her teammates at the net. Part of the fun is team captains could sub in players, male or female. Andy Roddick came in and fired a huge serve to Coco Vandewey. After that brilliant return, Roddick was eager to try again. Austin and Vandewey won the match 6-4, earning $20,000 for the patient safety movement. Men's singles was a clash featuring two generations of hard-serving Americans. Sampras coming in behind his serve, but Roddick with the pass. The 2003 U.S. Open champion wins money for his foundation 6-3. Sampras teamed with McEnroe for the men's doubles match against Roddick and 1987 Wimbledon singles champ Pat Cash. This was the kind of rally only players of this caliber can provide. Cash was out to have a little fun. McEnroe showed he still has the touch. McEnroe and Sampras winning the match 6-3, earning $20,000 for Eisenhower Medical Center. In the final match of the night, McEnroe teamed with Vandewey in mixed doubles to take on Cash and Keys, who were playing for the War Casualty Family Assistance Fund. McEnroe and Vandewey lost that point, but won the match 6-4. But the big winners were the 8,000 fans who watched this incredible exhibition free of charge and the four charities that were supported by the players. Yeah, it was great. You know, it's, there's, there's a bigger bigger purpose here than uh, whether or not we play average tennis. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fun for me. You know, I remember being a kid and watching Pete and Mac play doubles for Davis Cup in the final against Switzerland. I was way up in the stands, so to be on the other side of it and play against them, is, uh, it's always surreal for me. It's a good time. Roddick was serving so big in the singles, it was uh, unbelievable. So the first thing was, thank God, I only had to cover half the court and I had at least a shot. But uh, it was fun. I mean, Pete and I played a few times. We had a couple great wins in Davis Cup, so it brought back some nice memories. And I felt like I was hitting the ball pretty good. And then in the mix, uh, these girls hit it hard now, harder than I do. So I had to use my guile and experience.